Hey guys, so in today's video we are going to discuss length chain and how we can use it to build a chat GPT powered chatbot within a few minutes. So first of all, let's check out what is LangChain. If I go to LangChain documentation, uh, here it is. There are a lot of things. So guys, LangChain is just a library that makes your work easier uh, when you are building a language model powered application. But I personally don't use LangChain because I think it makes things complicated for me. Uh, it's my personal assumption. I just prefer writing my own code mostly and just save it so I can use it later when I need it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you how we can build a chat GPT powered chatbot using LangChain. So I don't know where to find it here. Uh, let me maybe search LangChain OpenAI. Let me search Google and here it is. So this is in the documentation and if I get this piece of code so here I have a file that is called app.py so this is nothing but just uh, regular imports like we import other libraries in Python don't be scared with that let me change the format of it okay uh, let me remove this uh, brackets as well so that you are not confused Oh my god. Okay. So. Okay, we are done. Uh, we just imported some stuff from LangChain library. First of all, you need to install LangChain and that is very simple. You just have to write in your terminal pip install LangChain and it will be installed. So once the imports are done, let's get back to the documentation and grab this piece of code if I copy paste this actually this piece of code initialize a model for us so right now we have set chat open AI which means we are using the chat models and if I specify a model name here I can say GPT 3.5 turbo and even if you do not provide the model name it will by default use gpt 3.5 turbo i believe i'm not sure about that but i guess yes it is and next if we take this piece of code and paste it here so these are the messages if you remember in our previous tutorials uh, we would do all this with by writing our own code and it's very simple actually let me modify the system prompt i will say you are a helpful assistant and a human message i'm not going to add any human message at the time so we just have one message over here that is you are a helpful assistant and it is a system message right now let me create a while loop so before that let me just print the response so let me just try to print what will be the response if I type print chat and I will provide messages as input and see what we get. Uh, I don't think we will get anything because okay thank you how may I assist you today let's say dot content and if I print this again so here uh, it is giving us the response. Now let's create a chatbot of it. Let's say while true user input equals input you. And once the user provides the input text, we will append it to the messages array, which we have built over here, as you can see. And let's do it messages dot append we will say it is human message and the content is user input so when we are appending to this array we are specifying hey this is a human message and the content is this uh, whatever the user provide it is stored in this variable and we are passing this variable here as a content once it is appended we will print the response chat 
messages equals messages dot content once we have this uh, actually let me store it in a variable let's say ai response equals this and we will print ai response and and once we have the response we will append the response as well to this messages just to maintain the history all right so let's say messages dot append it will be ai message because this human message this ai message and this system message we have imported all of them from here as you can see from langchain or schema import this this and this so it will be ai message and the content will be ai response and that's it now let's let me add this string over here okay uh, now let's run this piece of code and see what happens let me say python app.py if i say hi there who are you okay it's a, a language model let's say uh, i'm so hell no you can't help me though okay let's say let us what is my name okay so as you can see it remembers what we talked previously and it is working exactly like chat gpt you say something and it gives you the answer while maintaining the history so basically if you keep the conversation uh, going for a long time maybe like if there are uh, hundreds of messages between you and AI, your conversation buffer will be full and it will no longer be able to respond to you because we have a token limit of 4000 uh, in GPT 3.5 Turbo. Anyway, for that, you can just uh, add a check over here. Let's say if there are more than 10 exchanges, make sure to remove the 11th one from this array uh, so that it never exceed the token limits. Uh, Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. In next video, we will further take this same code and try to get it answered from our private PDF using LangChain. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet. Bye-bye.